All right, all right, all right. How you doing? <laughs> I know you've been very excited waiting for Money Mondays. Thank you so much for tuning in to Icon Radio. My name is Kangadan Jiroge and the show has just begun. Of course, we play to you the very best music you want to listen to from Kenya and Africa. And of definitely what is in store for you is amazing. Today on the show, we'll be discussing a bit about investing like we always do. But today our topic is about the money market fund. I am very privileged to have an amazing, amazing guest who is going to be introducing herself next in a few. But let's go back to the music when we come back. What is a money market fund? Why should you invest in a money market fund? And the reason why I decided to talk about this is because of you. You asked for it and that is why we're here. And we will definitely be discussing it. And the reason why... Um, this is important is because when you reach probably your 26, 27 is when you start realizing that the money you're paid, you should not finish all the money that you get paid, you know. You know, when we were young, you know, you get paid, you're like, why is there still money in my bank account? How? Is there still money in my bank account? And today, if you're in that roller coaster of when money comes in, Yanni, you're your hands boils, like you get sick, you have to finish all the money. I'm going to show you how to um, fix that by investing in money market funds. This is so exciting. Pop up the volume. We are also having coffee in the house, so please get yourself some coffee. I'm excited. So, so, so excited. If you know who it is, don't tell anyone. Yeah, Let them be excited to see who it is in the studio. Uh, let's pop up the volume. Thank you so much. Uh, Kunta Beats in the house, giving us a great, great music. And of course, you're going to have some fun. The hashtag is Money Mondays on Icon Radio. Icon Radio, your number one entertainment plan. He says I'm a fashion killer. He said he a trending nigga. Who is that? I'm a hoja check it picture. Don't know how to make it clearer. It's the way that he looks at me. Yeah. 
Me, 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 the world. Wendy, Wendy King, the right John Icon, Icon Radio. Hope, Hope you have, have a great, great time. time. It's Monday, Monday, Monday with me. Having an amazing guest. Are you ready? Are you ready? I I am so pleased and excited to be announcing that I have Margaret Kimani in the house, an investment banking expert, certified financial advisor, Yanni, CEO, uh, Kabute Global, call, sorry, Kabute Global, guy, what is wrong with me and global? <laughs> Kabute Global Consulting. Yes, 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 yes. I know my Kikuyu will always come in somewhere. Yes. Kabute Global Consulting and um, amazing former uh, women and youth leader at SBM Bank. Um, an investment banker, really. Thank you so much for tuning in. Karibia microphone kitoko. Salimia watu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm very privileged to be here. Mm-hmm. Honored, actually. I, as you know, anytime I'm speaking about investment, investment, yeah. Um, what can I call it? Uh, people say it's a very big turn on for me. Yeah. Honest, I could speak about investment day and night. Yeah. And never get tired. So I'm very privileged to be here. You're extremely privileged to be here. Yeah. I'm so happy. We are the ones that are privileged to be here. And, um, of course, we're really expecting a lot from you today. Yeah. Um, and we are expecting to hear so much. Yeah. But who is Margaret Kimani? Excellent. Good. I'm glad you asked. Uh, Margaret Kimani, um, I, have, I carry many titles depending on where and how. Uh, but I carry many titles. First, uh, recently, uh, during COVID, I became an elder, self-published elder. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, coupled with investment banking, I've always been a big fan of... Uh, I believe that leadership comes into play. Mm-hmm. Even when you're investing, you look at who leads this company, the underlying company where you're investing. Uh, so leadership comes a very big deal. Um, and it's something I'm very passionate about because mm-hmm. I'm a transformer. Yeah. My calling from God, number one, is uh, I'm a transformer. Mm-hmm. I go to places and I transform. Yes. Institutions, corporate sectors, um, community. Yes. Uh, but anyway, uh, by my profession, I am an investment banker. Mm-hmm. Not a commercial banker, not a career <laughs> banker. Let's be clear. <laughs> Guys, there's a, very, difference? there's a very big difference. Uh-huh. Career bankers is what you, majority of them would work in the commercial banking sectors. Yes. You know, the, the usual, ones that give the usual loans. banks. Mm. They give loans, they give you an ATM card they request you to open an account yeah with them so that you can obviously keep the money in the bank mm-hmm. um, and of course there are other solutions I'm sure they offer but I'm an investment banker mm-hmm. um, and maybe I'll be diving into that later on yeah but in investment banking we believe that there's an investment basket and diversification is key so in an investment banking you'll find a little portion of that would be commercial banking of course mm-hmm. the transactions the letters of credit mm-hmm. uh, then you'll go to you know things like sophisticated things like um, treasury bills and bonds mm-hmm. there's trading trading forms a big majority of the investment banking yes um, and of course we advise we also advise and educate clients and like traditional bank to open an account commercial banks and career bankers you don't necessarily have to have a lot of education yeah. opening an account is not very complicated you just need an id carry pin for kenyan sector yes anyway so in investment banking we usually have a basket there are very many types of asset of, classes, of asset classes that yeah. we cover from mm-hmm. very sophisticated ones from derivatives mm-hmm. which is a new phenomenon here in, in, kenya. in kenya yeah we barely <laughs> launched it when i was in wall street you know we were trading them yes. in a very big way Funny in major thing. markets when you um, see, uh, one of our listeners called George is like, tell her, talk about derivatives. Like, she's, he saw your portfolio. Oh, like, really? Yeah, I need to hear about I derivatives. <laughs> I, I love them. I, I know it's a new concept. Yeah. So, Kangeda, what we've agreed, you and yeah, I, is yes, that every yes, Monday yes. we will talk about a different asset class. Mm-hmm, yeah? Mm-hmm, uh, yeah. So that, for example, today if I'm speaking, I know I'm so excited to be speaking about money market. Yes. It's exactly what the word says, money market. Yes. But I was saying that in investment banking, in an investment basket, if I can call it that way, you find so many asset classes mm-hmm. in that basket. Yeah. And then we look at, the obviously, the investor's uh, risk appetite. We look at your investment goal. Mm. Then we match it with the asset classes that, it, that is appropriate. Yeah. 
uh, and it's very important. Mm -hmm. It very is very important, and you can see why education comes. Financial literacy is very key. So for today, derivatives yeah. will come. ETFs will come, exchange yeah. traded funds, <laughs> rates will come, real Just estate investment classes. Just sit a beat classes. pieces. Yeah. And the, the reason why we're doing this is because the other weekend I was hanging out with a group of young people. Excellent. And they are very excited. They've gotten jobs. Um, yes. They're, they're, they're progressing their careers. Yeah. But the main thing they were asking me was, Kangada, when I get paid, I feel like Mfukuyangu <laughs> is hot. Has holes. I, it's too hot. <laughs> You know, I yes. d d like. I feel yeah. like I need to spend. I need to spend. Yeah. Um. I. 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 Like. One of them was saying, "I don't like seeing money in the bank." I'm like, "Why, why do I have money in the bank? Yeah, I why, know. Why not spend it?" I know. Um. And they. And, and it's normally a roller coaster. And I feel some. Like for me, of course, everyone went through that. You're excited about your new money and stuff. But how do you make sure that you keep that money? And I think that's why most of the people are here. Um. And are tuned in to need to just find out. Mm. And I know that we'll be discussing this very often about yeah. investing. Yeah. But the major problem yes. of feeling hot when you have money, <laughs> yes. feeling a bit rich yeah. when you have money, yes. yeah? talking Walking to people the way you want, style, yeah? you know, in a certain way, <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. going to your, uh, you know, your, uh, your, your kawa places where you go and you're like, yes, I have money today. Yeah. 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 What did you do when you had money and you were excited about it the first time? Uh, to be honest, um, you know, when I first got my, you know, my first job when I was, I was still in Kenya before I moved to the U.S. Yeah. I remember I was working for this shipping company and first I was an intern. Mm -hmm. uh, so they were giving me a little, you know, little token. Yes. They didn't have to pay me, but, you know, they gave me the practical knowledge. Mm. But when I first got my job, uh, I think my dad has played a very big role for, mm. to be honest, and he yeah. didn't have a lot of education. Yes. He's always showed us how to invest. He's always like pulling us up and, and, and bringing us to investment opportunity. We started mm -hmm. with real estate. Yeah. So I would say for me, I really wanted to open a good bank account and I will not even see the bank. Just hold up. The first money. Yeah. I wanted to have an account of my own. I Can you imagine? I went to buy pizza. Whoa! Wow. That's like I, I was like no 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 no. no. Yeah. Now I can afford my own pizza. I don't have to ask for. I know beg for money <laughs> literally. <laughs> We so really interesting, yeah. We really can get there. So yeah. my first excitement, and I don't know because at the time I was not even studying. I had studied shipping and linear trades and shipping, clearing and forwarding. I was yeah. in Mombasa for mm -hmm. a year. Yeah. Uh, so I always wanted to have my own bank account. I I don't know. There was a bit of, and you know those days oh, having oh, yeah, a bank yeah. account. Actually, yeah. Hey, do you know those days? Do you remember those days? <laughs> it was like I wanted to have my money where I can have an ATM card and control swipe, my money swipe. and and. And okay, also, okay, like for me, I was a spender. So you're saying, oh, you, you, we are many. I mean, during that age, and I also wanted to, like, when I'm coming to Nairobi, mm -hmm. imagine booking your own ticket, like uh, your own yeah. ticket to come to. You know, I'm from Chags, eh? Yeah. You know, I'm from Gatanga, proudly yeah. village. Yeah. And uh, I'm very unapologetic about the village. <laughs> but you know, coming from Mombasa, mm -hmm. my my grandma used to live there. My uncle, mm. my uncle Kinodi. I hope he's yeah. watching somewhere. Uh -huh. Anyway, so you know, booking your own ticket. How does that feel for a uh, uh, 18 year old, 21 year old? Feels amazing. It was. I I wanted to have my own bank account. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, I, I, I always, I, I think investment, my dad has really done a good job, to mm, be honest, mm. big shout out to him. Yeah. He's always showed us that, you know, you can actually uh, do so much more with little, you know, yeah. for him, us guys started from rugs to God knows we yeah. are not, re we don't consider ourselves, you know, but to be honest, everything, he worked hard for it and uh, he's accumulated well, little wealth, little can I little say by little, little money yeah. that he his own jasho can I call it his yeah. own sweat mm -hmm. so I always felt like wow and also that di diligence you know what we lack is discipline yeah and I'll tell you for sure some of these things are culturally passed on let me tell you I mm. I, I just uh, you know I left uh, you know commercial banking this year yeah. early this year very yes. early this year and I remember in my office I know my colleagues if they are watching they will you know my former colleagues yeah. Uh, I know when we get paid, let me tell you, the people who eat in the cafeteria, <laughs> cafeteria, Delta people, I hope you see me, you hear me in our HQ in Riverside, mm -hmm. the people who would eat in the cafeteria, people would, now we, I remember we had a banitary downstairs <laughs> and you know, people would rock there and you know, and, and people would go to nice places. Yeah. 
to there's feel that like, feeling. Is it, I'm but, telling but you. There's no problem And with, if you're generous like me, when mm, you're paid, let yeah. me tell you, I don't know about you guys, whenever you have money on M-Pesa, what is this thing that happens that everyone else, whatever bills were, even people that had never called you earlier, you know, they, they need this, if you're generous <laughs> like me, maybe it's a cause, a yeah. cause that you're passionate there's always something to do with to that do money. To do with the money. I don't know about you. And that's, so th- sometimes, that's a major problem. Yeah, that, and you know, spending culture sometimes, and Kenya, by the way, now that I've lived in the U.S. for almost 10 years, mm. Kenya has also become a very spending... Culture. You know, in the U.S., uh, credit cards are a thing. Yeah. Like, if you don't have a credit card, something must be... It's wrong with it's you. like not yeah. having M-Pesa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? But this culture of spending, yeah. we are actually not producing much. But yeah. we are, you know, malls have come here. You have malls in every few minutes, couple Yeah, we have a mall you. just outside exactly. our studio. So what are we inculcating? Mm. So I feel like it can be passed on. Yeah. And that's why I honestly honor my dad. Even yeah. today, my siblings can tell you, we are eight of us, mm. can tell you that this it's had an effect on them. Yeah. So Even starting from the beginning. how he spent his money, how yeah. he handled money. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very cultural. So what Sometimes, you see your, yeah. Even your, your pa- family folks. do it. Yeah. It's you're definitely going to Yeah, of course you can learn good display on how to, you know, if you have a budget, for example, Mm. it really helps you to stay displayed. Yeah. Uh, And for the men, for my, you know, my good (laughs) men friends, I know on Fridays there's that pewa pewa, you know, like... We'll talk about that in a few. (laughs) Yeah. Let's get back to the music. Of course, the show is going to be so big. It is Icon Radio. Mm -hmm. Please uh, follow us on our social media pages, Icon Radio KE and all our social platforms. And Let's get engaging about money.
You now listening to Icon Radio, your number one entertainment plan. Music and Kenyan music. It is Icon Radio, your number one entertainment player. Gang along with the Kanga and our amazing guest, um, uh, Margaret Kimani, the one and only 
So we're excited to have you in the house. Thank We've you. been discussing about um, investing and about some of the things that she's been doing. She's an, a great investment banker and what that means. And of course, today we'll be chit-chatting about money market and what's a money market fund and what that will mean for you because we need to put your money in the bank. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was young and I was starting out a bit, a bit in, my, in my career, mm-hmm. someone told me there will come a time where you'll be excited about not removing money in your pockets. Excellent. You'll be excited about having something, you know? Yeah. When did that, um, and I know you, you started investing early. When mm. did that light come for you? Um, I think after, of course, uh, when you're younger, you have less responsibilities, right? Yeah. Um, and even for that, even when I was excited to have my own bank account, uh-huh. um, you know, we would spend. We would maybe a save. I would save and maybe still go out. Mm-hmm. Um, I love traveling. It's one of my hobbies. So probably a lot of my money would be spent there. Mm-hmm. And so many other, you know, going out with friends. You know, those things happened yeah. like when we were growing up. Yes, yes. Yeah, but for me, I think it came a time when now... Um, you know, I, I guess it comes also with age. Yeah. As you're aging, yes. <laughs> 18 years, can be thinking <laughs> like a 21. Yeah. And now for me, because I also majored in financial economics. Uh, that helped you a bit. It helped me also to put perspective into things. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I, I think even when I also started working in Wall Street and I would head, I had oh, so much wait, access. Oh, wait, hold up. You worked? Yeah, I had so much access You worked to, in Wall Street? Yes, yes, yes. Why are you I talking as, as if this is something small like at the... Uh, humility, man. Uh, I think once you've been doing it for a while, uh, yeah. for me, it's not a big deal. I know how, it's a how, very big deal. It is. But I don't take it. It never changes who I am. Yeah. I, I think that's a beauty about me. And it, I know it's a gift from God. How it long? It never change how, who I am, mm-hmm. um, you know, as a person, as Margaret. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was actually there for, wow. <laughs> how long? Uh, close to 10 years. Wow. Yeah, nine plus. Some yeah. of us would and I moved up the ranks, you to, know. Yeah. Um. And and why why this was so special? I worked for uh State Street mm-hmm. Bank. Mm-hmm. It's one of the listed. It's listed in the New York Stock Exchange, mm-hmm. and it's one of the global largest custodian. Yeah. And when I was there, I learned wow. Other than in Kenya, where we just think real estate, we think uh, you know stock exchanges. Yeah. We have so much other asset classes to that you offer. could invest in. Mm. You know, even even technology there. Mm-hmm. I know in Kenya we brag about M-Pesa, but in the developed world, they have so much technology and mm-hmm. especially what you could say equivalent to internet banking for commercial banks. Yeah. We have so much, uh, too many trading platforms. And I'm not talking bitcoins, crypto coin. I'm talking yeah. real investments. Uh, so for me, being exposed to those opportunities and because my majority of half of the time when I was in Wall Street, we were tri- we were pricing funds. I worked in the global pricing services where we would price funds. And I would see even when that file would come from Nairobi Stock Exchange, then mm-hmm, mm-hmm. now they've changed the name to Nairobi Securities Security Exchange. Exchange yes. We would get the file. When your market closed, that file would come to us. Yeah. Because we held certain assets. Some of our investors held certain assets in Kenya. Mm-hmm. If it's JSC, Johannesburg Stock yeah. Exchange, we mm-hmm. would get that file. Casablanca, you name it, every market. Mm. And for me, I used to be like wowed initially, like wow. This is... You know? Yeah. And then when you see some of the investors, because it's a global custodian, mm. you see some of the Warren Buffett investors, mm. you're like, dude, I don't even have 100 shillings to invest. <laughs> so it really used to challenge me like, man, will I ever get to that? That level where like, money is working for you? And you know, you. in Wall Street, what mm. is so funny, people don't know that when we trade, mm-hmm. like, let me use the Warren Buffett because I think it's a no-brainer. Yeah. When Warren Buffett is trading, we don't talk about his name. We have special, we call them Q-sips. Hey. We have a coded language mm-hmm. of, we don't talk like, it's not even, it's not conf- it's confidentiality bre- breach would be. Yeah. So so I was to be so intrigued, like, man, in Kenya, we, you know, I was telling someone derivatives, which we are not discussing today. Yeah. We've traded so much derivative. I mean, exchange traded funds. These are, these are asset classes yes, we do yeah. not even have here. We don't. Derivatives just barely hit the market I remember. after COVID. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember when I was in... And big um, shout out to NSE. At yes. least we've gotten to derivatives <laughs> 10 really years trying. later. They're really trying. You know, so, so for me, I used to be challenged. And I think that was the turning point for me. 
like to see wow other than just buying shamba here mm. eh? you know yeah it's broti baguta <laughs> You know the joke, eh? Yes. Especially where I come from, yeah. yeah you know, yeah, if you do yeah. not have a cup lot, yeah. 50 by 100. <laughs> so for me, I used to, it was a very sobering moment. Mm. And I thank God for that privilege, mm. even to be able to, you know, uh, price certain serious funds. And then the other thing that gave me a lot of challenge was we would use serious, um, what do I call it? Plat- <clears throat> platforms like Bloomberg, Reuters. Mm. I think you know Reuters. Yes, is, I, I these know two Bloomberg are the biggest. Well, yeah. And once you've met Mr. Bloomberg, the Mayor Bloomberg himself, mm-hmm. the owner of that trading, yeah. you know, they have research from here to God knows. Yeah. As in, if that research was to be quantified in money. So having such platforms to trade and even look at the underlying assets, yes. like now, for example, if I was to trade in Safaricom, looking at the underlying, all the macro, micro, econ- like all the research put in one place yeah. for you. And so you're told... It, this used, is how it really used to challenge me. So investment, for me, that was a turning moment. Uh, of course, that doesn't mean that I save everything. I invest <laughs> everything. Of course, I, I think life is to be lived. I'm a big fan of, I am a, a, a big lover of life. In fact, mm. I always tell my family, if uh, God forbid, you know, my yeah, life. Yeah. Honestly, I, I believe in living a complete life, even as we're investing, mm-hmm. you know, living fully by choice mm-hmm. um, so it doesn't mean that I also you know invest everything but yeah. that was the turning moment I think being exposed to that level of you know and also I've been I've had the privilege of traveling and going to certain <laughs> stock exchanges I'm mm-hmm. a big fan yeah um, you know and looking at how they do things man it really it's a less it's like a PhD lesson yeah. for you yeah interesting um, yeah interesting that's amazing yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go to the topic I had today Excellent. and which is a money market fund yeah and I know people are very excited about it we can start with the introduction sure what sure. exactly <laughs> yeah what the yeah H E W L yeah is a money market fund and why is it important yeah. for us today to speak excellent about yeah thanks for asking I know there's a lot we can talk about I'm very passionate about all yeah but just to go straight to the point money markets a money market fund um is classified as I don't know the I, I try to speak uh you know layman terms uh but I'll use two terms so it's a collective fund uh and in some countries they'll say that it's a unit you know unit trust it's classified as a unit trust yes. whereby you i put my 100 sh- can i use kenya shillings yeah, yeah, we yeah, are sure, of sure. course proudly yeah, in nairobi yeah. <laughs> we are in nairobi city for yeah. the global citizens who are logging in yeah. but for kenyan perspective mm. so it's uh, for example i'll put my 100 shillings okay and he'll put your million mm. shillings mm. and he will put his, uh, you know, maybe 500,000 shillings. Mm-hmm. It's a collective fund. So you bring in your funds and it, it's pooled. Can I say pooled? Yeah. It's put together yes. in lemon terms. Yeah. And then it's invested. And usually it's not done by a commercial bank. Uh, most of the money markets are done by a fund manager. And why a fund manager? Because it's highly regulated, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and I don't want to go to different assets, you know, unit trust can be, you know, there are many different types of, of unit, unit trust, trust yeah. but money market comes on top of that list. Um, why? Because money market, as you can, he- and as you can tell from the word, it's, uh, it gives you much more. Most money markets, uh, if I look at the current uh, situation in Kenya, most of them will range, the interest rates will range from like around 7% to 8%. If you compare that for the same amount that you put in a commercial bank, if you compare that interest rate, yeah. assume you're investing a million. For example, um, you know, for, a million for... shillings for just argument's sake, yes. simplicity's sake. Mm-hmm. Um, or can I just use 100,000 shillings? Mm-hmm. If you went to the bank and put it in a savings account, uh, the so interest the rates, account, probably. Uh, even our savings account, yes. the interest rates would be much lower. Uh, and there's a reason for that. Mm-hmm. You see, money markets, how it works is that once they pull these funds, your million, my 100 shillings, you know, into this fund, the fund manager will invest them in very liquid asset classes. Mm-hmm. And usually they are regulated, very highly regulated by mm-hmm. the Capital Markets Authority, of yes. course, and SC, yeah. you know. But Capital Markets Authority regulates to make sure that they are invested in um, very liquid 
uh, you know, asset classes. Yeah. The first one being T bills, mm -hmm. treasury bills. Yes. I think another Monday we can, yeah, talk, we about can talk about treasury, treasury bills. bills yeah. They are very, in fact, in, when I was studying in Boston, Massachusetts, they usually, the professor used to say that these are very, we call them almost risk free. Of course, there is no asset you'll invest in that does not have a risk. Yeah. But why they are called uh, risk-free risk yeah. is because usually governments, because it's usually is issued by government, yes. very few governments will default. Yeah. Of course, we saw some before yeah, COVID that, you know, yeah. Spain and Greece mm, and mm. we call them, you know, yeah. Italy, those ones had, you know, they had but issues. hardly. Hardly do you see a government defaulting. defaulting on pay. <clears throat> and then a T-bill is usually a short-term secu government security, less than a year. So that's why uh, for money market, why we call them money market in the first place, <clears throat> excuse me, is because they are they have to be invested in those three asset classes. Mm. T-bills, T -bills. Uh, short-term commercial papers, yes. like for example, corporate uh, bonds mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, when... when you know, when companies are floating their bonds, mm -hmm. it has to be invested in highly liquid. Uh, and of course, the third one would be <coughs> they can go to, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, they can go to commercial banks and actually negotiate. Remember, after you've pulled these funds, as opposed to me showing up in a commercial bank and, and, and negotiating for a rate, mm -hmm. of course, the rates will be standard because my money is little. Mm. 100 shillings is little. But when we pull these funds together, these mon fund managers they work very closely with commercial banks mm. and they can invest in, a, for example, in a call deposit mm. or a fixed deposit. Yeah. You know, that's why they are, we call them money markets. And of course, the interest rates is usually higher. It's higher. It's much higher. All right. Yeah. All right. So we'll, yeah. um, when we come back, we'll definitely uh, d delve in more and sure. talk about whether investing in um, the money market fund is better than investing in a SACO. Yeah. For example. And even the do's and the dots. Then the do's and the dots. Because there are a lot of myths. There are a lot of myths. myths. People have a lot of misconceptions yes. about Yes. And how much, yeah. how much do you need to start? Excellent. Um, right here on Icon Radio.
Icon Radio, your number one entertainment. Right there, some, some very dope, dope music, music right, right to Icon, Icon Radio. Thank, Thank you so much for, for tuning in. in. This, this is, is Money Mondays. Mondays. Thank Thank me, Kevin Jorge, and my amazing co-host, Margaret Kimani, the investment financial bank. I'll not even say anything else. Like that's that's <laughs> enough. <laughs> and we've been discussing about what money market, um, what what is money market, and why mm. we need to think about that. And of course, we explained what money market is and now we're going head on head to find out why is money market very interesting better than saving in a circle mm. or definitely better than saving in a bank um tell us um for me i would say that uh, obviously it's it's i'll please allow me to give an example so please do yeah. i don't see anything wrong with keeping your money in the bank yeah. to be honest yeah uh, i'm coming from the commercial banking sector mm-hmm. which i needed to experience having been in wall street investment banking for long yeah when i landed in kenya i was in commercial banking close mm. to now 10 years so yeah. i've been in this sector 21 years of yeah. banking yes um uh, imagine um it's very <laughs> funny counting yeah yeah uh, it sounds like a very long time but <laughs> uh, why i'm saying that there's nothing wrong you see for you to invest you must save and if you're not putting even one shilling in the in the bank mm. you see you'll never save enough yeah uh, let's be honest and mm-hmm. many of the money markets some of the funds uh, that I'm working with actually have a limit you know you th- they ask for a certain starting amount like a million so you you've not no quite not quite <laughs> not quite it's very affordable guys mm-hmm, uh, please mm-hmm. I'm, I'm bringing this out to say that you see, if you don't start, if you do not have that saving habit, which starts in a bank account, like the one I wanted to open, you know, yeah. many years ago, yes, my own, mm-hmm. um, you know, that habit becomes. So there's nothing wrong saving in the bank account, but obviously, if you want more, if you want more, um, obviously, you're looking into money market, which a lot of people, I'm telling you, I am so so bad now that I'm in fully in investment banking, mm-hmm. I'm so humbled and and so shocked. By how many people do not know about, about money, market. money market? To be honest, yeah. very serious, very highly educated people. Mm. Let me go back to the point, to the question you asked: Why save in a money market? Uh, there are very many benefits. First, it's very highly liquid, mm. and by liquid we mean the reason we call it a money market is as good as money. Uh, when you save, and of course, always invest and do your due diligence. You know, always do your homework, of course. Use mm. a financial advisor because you might not be very well versed by, you know. But why w- most people will put their money is because their interest very liquid. Mm-hmm. If you needed your money when you invest. In fact, some of the in, um, fund managers have mm. an app. Yeah. Just the same way you go to your app for M-Pesa. And when you need your money, within 24 hours, you, you should have your money. Back, yeah. I've also had this experience. By the mm. way, I never advise something that I've not done myself. Yeah. I will not say which one of the funds that uh, they have an app where at midnight, if I need my money tomorrow, life is happening. Mm. And by the way, one of the beauty of why every Kenya, if not ev- every Kenya should consider a money market is because it's your, it's, it's the place where you pack your money, but it's earning you interest every night. Mm. As opposed to when you put your money, obviously in a bank account, not all banks. Like, let me give you an example. If I'm buying some equipment from, can I say China because it's <laughs> like the obvious, you know, in Kenya, there's a joke about China. Yeah. China. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, if I'm buying some equipment from China and I expect the shipment to come maybe in two weeks, why would I not put my money? Mm. And usually when you're buying an equipment, it's yeah. not cheap. Eh? It's, it's not, not like your 250 not. shillings. Yeah, it's not. You know, it's a lot of money. So within that period, you can pack your money. We call it, it's a packing uh, we, I think many of us in investment banking will see it's where you pack your money, but your money is not sit- you know, sitting there and not earning you interest. Yeah. Because if that money was sitting in a bank account, let's be honest, in a current account, it will not earn much. Yeah. It will not earn anything. In even fact, when you some, put your, some yes. even deduct money from your account. Yes, the transaction course, fee. The transaction and, fee. Yeah. But this is where you pack your money. Even for us who might not have an emergency fund. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, and let me tell you, I know some countries are in denial that recession is here. Yeah. In my, I also studied economics. Yeah. Thanks to Kenyatta <laughs> University. Let me yeah. tell you, we are going into a very, I think you've already seen it. Let's where, not go where? into KQ. Jeez, let's jeez. let's not go there. I'm not here to depress where? people. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, Please, I don't guys. Want... Let's reality has to kick in. We are going. Look at drought con- conditions, guys. Let me tell you. If 
you've never invested in a money market and i'm not even savings itself i'm telling you guys because we are going a lot of jobs that are now i did an article about future of work and i'm not saying this to scare us i meant a youth globally yeah. I, this is my other huge passion mm -hmm. but i'm telling you guys some of the jobs we love right now will not exist in the next couple of years yeah. you know technology for the industrial revolution is here mm -hmm. you saw what twitter did i mean i'm reading that article twice 10 times a day yeah. and i'm like Shocks. what yeah like who does it's, that it's, it's, anyway let's not go there yeah but what i'm saying <laughs> is that emergency fund if you we always recommend in financial advisory that at least keep between six and nine months in fact if you can keep a one year if you lost your income today god forbid mm. if something happens that we do not have enough petrol if you know uh we were not moving around and covid god forbid that is yeah. not gonna happen in yeah. jesus name but should you not have the income you just have always do a scenario analysis and say if i didn't have my income today would i last what six would months happen? yeah would I last and that months? emergency fund where mm. you need to pack it that's why we call money market uh parking you know you pack your fund there but the money is working for you mm. um i was giving that example of if you know cash flow management even for some of the smes that i you know my consulting firm is is mm. coaching and, yeah. and helping to you know to make money yeah. out of their business fund ventures i mean uh, some of the money where they need to put them instead of keeping it in the bank account as you wait let me give you another example construction company that probably is is has won a, a, a tender, a tender. Uh, that will be constructing from uh, you know Nairobi to Kisumu or mm -hmm. Nairobi to some bypass yeah uh, that money instead of keeping in a current account waiting to source the materials mm. imagine overnight just work with 10 million most of these construction companies it's not cheap yeah, even buying the materials, raw materials alone. Mm, it's not uh, cheap. And when they get paid from, let's say it was Kenha giving yeah. them the job. Yeah. That money, you're parking it in a current account, but you do not know that there's a money market. Anyway, so the second benefit is liquidity, mm. accessibility to your money. This money is yours. Remember, these funds are highly, if there's something highly CMA, liquid, highly regulated. Yeah, yeah. And I think for the comfort, for the sake, even for myself, I'm always curious. Yes, I'm an investment banker, but I must make sure that my money is safe and that it's highly regulated because Capital Markets Authority, it's the authority that, you know, uh, you know, regulates the fund managers. Yeah. I know we've had scenarios even in the market, but you've seen that they've always come through for that. Mm, uh, the yeah. other thing I wanted to talk about is diversification. Uh, I think there is a saying, do not put all your money in, eggs one, in, one, basket. Eggs in one basket. Nobody yeah. should ever do that. Yeah. Even, I'll give you an example. Some of us are heavily bought those two plots, eh? you know, Rio <laughs> Estate. Should you put all your money there? Let me give you an example. Yeah. During COVID, a lot of, God People forbid, a lot of our parents, a lot of, a lot of siblings, a lot of relatives mm. were sick. Mm. Were you able to actually actually uh, i had sell the title. many problems with people Guys, having were you able you know no one diversification is very big yeah uh but uh, please if you allow me i don't know if time will allow us yeah to yeah. talk about also the risks there is no investment including real estate there's no investment even the t-bills we talk about mm. every investment comes with a little bit of risk that will be coming the next hour excellent so don't worry yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but and you of know, course keep your yeah. questions coming excellent. um the hashtag is icon ready ke um, money mondays with kanga and Juroge. please let's go back to the music when we come back more of your questions i can see a lot of them coming in mm -hmm. and we will be tackling them one by one excellent. how you doing let's go back mm -hmm. to the music You now listening to Icon Radio, your number one entertainment flag. Time for business on Money Mondays with Kanyeden Joroge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Every fire needs its oxygen It's like I need you in my life When I'm out here in this cold world Your love warms me up inside There's a force girl that I can't explain When the heart beat as one Like a sparkle turns into a flame A new life has just begun Oh, I feel some type of way And I don't know what to say when I'm with you, baby Nasita kimungine Nasita kimungine When I'm with you, baby Oh, I wanna run away anytime or any day Nasita kimungine Nasita kimungine Oh, oh, oh Oh, oh, oh I know what it really means to love Every time I feel your sound When I'm with you I feel so alive, baby Don't you ever leave my side Oh, I feel some type of way And I don't know what to say When I'm with you, baby Nasita kimungine Nasita kimungine When I'm with you, baby Oh, I wanna run away Anytime or any day Nasita kimungine Nasita kimungine If you ever been in love You put your hands up we come and call on you. We come and call on you. If you ever been in love, put your hands up. We come and call on you. We come and call on you. Leo 
Masai Siezi, siezi, siezi toka club sai Siezi, kosa kuteka mpoa sai Siezi bayi wa pombe alafu mini zirai Sakata, sakata, rumba, rumba Sakata, sakata, kuna nyuma Chuchuma kuna wevunja ufupa Tumia mikono kishindwa miguna Nikili chopando ani ulicho kikuza Na kiki kukuza ni juli kichuna Na kisi pozama ni jwa kijavuna Na kiki zolea ni juki memuwa My hands, your waist a dope song uh, play right here on Icon Radio how are you doing this is Money Mondays hang out with me Kanga Denjuroge and my amazing guest um, Margaret Kimani talking about what the H-E the well is Money Market Fund and why you need to be having one a lot of questions coming in on us and a shout out to Zishari Yani Zishari has become a uh, part of us We love you Thank you so much for tuning in And she's asking a lot of questions actually But one that caught my eye was um, Which um, money market fund do you recommend? Okay And uh, which one is a referral situation? <laughs> That must be a comedian asking that question. Yeah, and then, and we'll get back to that. Um, right. We can definitely talk about how do you choose a money market fund. And I know <coughs> you spoke about um, getting to understand where you are. Yes. I think doing an audit of your investment in yes. terms of how much money you have in the bank and now how you do your diversification. Correct. So having something in a bank, something in a circle, and definitely something in a market money market fund yes. i like what you say that um your money especially the money that you say your emergency money should Funds. be in a money market yes. fund because yes. one you're not touching it yes. two it's earning money yes on your on your side yeah i um, mean let's go to finally choosing um a suitable money market fund where do you start how much do you need to Excellent. start to Excellent. invest in a money market fund um so in kenya there are quite a number of uh, money markets usually you find insurance firms are the key players fund managers we have quite a number very good ones mm. um in kenya and those would majority of the you know the company and of course investment banks that's yeah. what we do yeah uh, monday through friday you know yeah. day in day out looking at the stocks yes yes out. yes, yes. Oh. researching yeah, yeah. but uh, the question i think you've asked is also how do you know which ones um the reason i stay away from in investment banking uh i might not be able until i look at your investment goal mm. honestly let, let nobody lie to you that i can just shout and say oh cic money market is the best mm. until i've looked at your investment goal mm -hmm. um you know your risk appetites you know then i'm able very mm. important let's talk about that a bit what uh -huh. do you mean by investment goal you see um i'll give you an example someone might be uh, investing in a money market because they they have a goal maybe they want to quit employment mm -hmm. you know and they want maybe in a year's time i want to have accumulated this much another one will be saving for a wedding and has you know a couple for example a fiance mm -hmm. um a girlfriend and a boyfriend could say hey 
you will be investing this much, you know, it's not an emergency fund per se, we call it a sinking fund. After some time, <laughs> you know, sinking fund meaning that they'll invest for some time and then they'll use that money. You get, it's not yeah. like an emergency fund yeah. where you, you don't know when the emergency will happen. Yeah. So you see this couple that is saving for a wedding instead of doing the harambees that we do, yeah. they could say, hey, babe, you will do 50,000 a month. We keep uh, growing this fund and yeah. we're earning a very high interest. Mm. I mean, seven to 10% is a lot of, to be honest, yeah. for interest. Yeah. And remember one thing I've not mentioned, the why I can talk about money market Monday through, I mean, day in, day out, is because money market uses a very special concept. We call it compounding interest. Compounding okay? interest. Compounding interest is that if I put, my, uh, let me use for simplicity, please, guys, I'm not trying to say that you cannot invest small amounts yeah. for simplicity calculation so that you calculate yeah. in your head. Yes. If I put a million, if Kangede put a million shillings today. Thanks, thanks. Can a million See, amen, group, with yeah. a very big capital, <laughs> amen. Uh, anyway, on a lighter note, if you put a million shillings today, compounded interest means that at the end of next month, mm. the investment bank will be using a million plus your interest to calculate your interest. Mm. And that's why it's very, very marketable. I'm yeah. telling you guys, if you've not played money markets, you have no clue what I'm talking about. Yeah. I dare you do it. So in banks, what commercial banks do is that they use simple interest. So if you had a million, the same million, okay, there's that interest rate they'll give you. They calculate times X rates and that's what you get. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So us guys in investment banking, that's why finance is very important. When you studied finance, you know, and this is not something that you, you know, right you need now, to go to school. You know, YouTube is there, guys. Yeah, yeah. We are learning. We are Even I'm learning from you. Kangeta. Yes. So you see why the finance major and why it comes with a lot of experience is mm. that when you're advising somebody, you have to know these things. Mm. And I'll give you an example. Once you've invested, assume we, you know, somebody wanted to get married in two years mm. and they have put this money. You see the power of compounding interest. I'm telling you within a year, mm. within a year or two. Because, of course, you have to be patiently investing. Yeah. If this couple is putting 50000 and the husband is, the, the you know, fiancé is putting mm. 50000 I'm telling you, you see the amount. Even you, you're like, wow, how did we get to this? Mm. And we've seen those many examples. We have customers even in the diaspora who put money to buy land here. Instead of taking a bank loan, you know, people have been saving money and yeah. they are buying it cash. Mm. And these are the people you wonder, like, hey, where do they get this money? They've just planned themselves. Mm. They have a very good financial advice and they are also aware that money market exists. Now, let me go to the very important question mm. you've asked. Uh, you see, like, I hope I've distinguished uh, compounding interest. Yes. Why also the interest is very attractive. Yes. And very high. Mm. Uh, and then, of course, the simple interest that banks use. I wanted to talk about how do you start? Um, and remember, guys, I've disclo fully disclosed that uh, the reason I, I do not... Okay, I can mention many of the <laughs> money markets that exist. Yeah. But if you come to me after this, I'll share my contacts. Yeah. If I look at your investment goal, I'll give you an example. My father, who was born in 1943, mm. if I was to invest him, to, you know, advise him, I cannot advise him the same way. A young person like myself would advise so it will be very wrong and unethical mm, for yeah. somebody to advise give the wrong financial advice yes so please be aware of that mm. so let me go to what you look for there are money markets that you can start with a hundred bob i i want to repeat that there you can are start, money markets yes here in kenya i'm not talking boston Mass, with a hundred i'm shillings. talking nairobi kenya yeah. in kenya mm -hmm. there is a money market fund that you can invest with as little as a hundred shillings yes um, and maybe I can mention them. Zimele, actually, Zimele, if you Google after this. Yeah. Uh, but if you come to me also, I'll be able to guide you. There are money market funds that usually restrict you to a higher amount. Um, you know, at least uh, starting amount could be 250,000 shillings, mm -hmm. Kenya mm -hmm. shillings. Yeah. Uh, and there are even some that restrict maybe 100,000 shillings. Of course, it's just like uh, a business. Mm. They have a certain strategy, so they want to attract a certain you know kind of clientele client, they, they have a target clientele mm. and they have obviously they are they also because because they look at big amounts their yeah. interest rate is usually higher allow me to mention some uh cic of course um it's the underlying company is obviously cooperative movement of yes. kenya cooperative yeah. bank mm -hmm. uh there's uh sandlam of course my favorite one which is not a local market 
fund mm. is uh, the company that I, that I represent is all Standard Investment Bank. Yes. We have Mansa X. Yeah. I know many people have heard about it. Is Mansa X uh, something on? Mansa X. It's an app, right? It's an investing app. Uh, no, Mansa X is a fund itself. Ah, really? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. The the name uh, there's a longer conversation. I think we'll set yeah, aside a, yeah. <laughs> a discussion for just Mansa, for Mansa X. X. But yes. Mansa X is a fund. It uh, of course belongs to Standard Investment Bank, mm-hmm. which is an invest pure investment bank, one of the largest in Kenya. Yeah. And for them, unlike the other local funds that I was talking about, they also invest in the global markets. So it's a global fund, very mm. diversified. Yeah. And if you look at their interest rates, it's very high. Mm-hmm. So allow me to mention the others. Just to be fair, Nabo mm. Capital is another. They you have uh, Chums. Uh, oh my God. Oh my I, God. I, Chums is amazing. I'm I sorry. Mean, we're not advertising. But we're yeah. not advertising. This is not paid advertisement. <laughs> this is not but paid I think it's, it's, it's actually very it's important. It's just options. Th- this guy, it's financial education. It's yes, financial yes, literacy. Yeah. Allow me to mention Nabo Capital. Their CEO, yeah. uh, their MD, Pew. Pews. Such a good man. We I should mean, bring this him guy to the show. should win a trophy for we should the bring him amount to the show. of. We, I will bring him. We should have a show, ah, three of us. Great. I think great. the staff show should be three hours yes. long. <laughs> I mean, this guy, I want to give him a big shout out for educating Kenyans. Mm. Every week I see he's trying to educate Kenyans on very simple, like five minutes clip. And yeah. Big shout out to him. Mm. Anybody who is trying to education to educate my fellow Kenyans, yeah. big shout out to you because I can't do it alone. Yeah. Forget that you can't do it alone. We can't do it alone. I can't uh, radio, can't Cannot do it alone. Do it on its so own. big shout out to anyone trying to do that. Pass, Man, yeah. You know, Standard Investment Bank, yeah. Nahashan, big yeah. shout out to you. <laughs> anyone doing this, guys, let's let yeah, me just, just say, say, I like to mention these funds because they are there. Mm. There's Britam, there's ICA Lion. Yeah. Those are insurance firms that have uh, an asset management, w- uh, you know, arm. Yes. Uh, which one have I forgotten? Sunlam, I've mentioned. Um, I mean, those are the major ones that I would mention. Yeah. Uh, you know, and always, guys, I want to say that you ask a question. Someone has asked a question about how do you know? Yes, how do you know which one is not a situation? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a run by night, yes. you know. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, for me, I would say that look at the transparency. Transparency. And very important. Transparency. How long has the company existed? Mm. You know, if you look, like I gave an example of Nabo Capital. How long have they existed? Uh, quite a while. You know, yeah. you know how long, how, how have they been doing? How transparent are they? Guys, I want to report here that Capital Markets Authority requires that all the fund managers uh, they usually have on the dailies in the newspaper. Mm. Uh, for those ones who read the old newspaper, yeah. I don't. I do online. Yeah. Uh, if you go to the asset classification for you know where the Nairobi Stock Exchange publishes uh, the bottom part, yes, you'll see that they are li- they are they usually list under unit trust. Yeah. So if you see and a company they, and they put their percentages over there, and excellent. Say, we are giving you yes, this yes. You can either you are just ahead of the game. Yeah. But they are actually, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, mandated. Yeah. The regulator requires them to actually publish. Okay, that's one. If you go to their uh, websites, you should also see their daily rates. Mm. Um, I know for one of the, um, you know, one of the money market that I have an app for. Yeah. One of the fund managers always, when you go to your app, every mm-hmm. day you can see that you have a hundred thousand shillings in your app. Really. Even when you want to withdraw. Yeah. They'll they'll notify you. I mean, they if you wanted to withdraw, to, yeah. you can actually send a request. Mm. And tomorrow, because when you're opening the account, by the way, the how is that they require you to give the bank account because yeah. interest has to be credited there. Okay. So if you see a company that is not transparent, a company that whose underlying company, for example, uh, when I gave an example of cooperative of CIC and or CIC, yeah. you know the cooperative movement has existed for, for forever. Long. Yeah. Uh, this, it's under, underlying mm. you know, investment is obviously Cop Bank. Yeah. It has affiliation with Cop Bank. These are the things to look out for. Because uh, you know it's 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 always because uh, you also lo- do it do your due diligence. Yeah. Don't just listen to yeah, Maggie here, yeah, Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing is ease of withdrawing, big time, guys. We live in a in a time where we've seen different things, corporate happen. governance happen. I mean, uh, and banks, it's a reality. Banks have closed in this country thank you. where a lot so of people had a, company, a lot of money. Thank you. Yeah. You've just hit the nail of the head. Yes. So if you see a company that ease of transaction, for example, when you email. 
to even uh, come, uh, most of the money markets will send you a statement every end of the month, the mm. same way you receive your bank account yeah. statement. Yes. So if you see a company that their customer service, first of all, I, I hate bad service. So if your service sucks, it's not working. and we're not talking Kenya Airways here, we're just talking <laughs> um, <laughs> on a lighter note, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, on a very light note. Yes. Uh, if you see customer service is wanting, that should be a very big red flag to say uh, something underlying. Yes. And also ease of withdrawal. You know, because like I said, within 24 hours, that's why their money market is liquid. I want my money tomorrow. Mm. I'll get it and interest will accrue. Mm. How much mm. days I've, I've had it. Mm. The other one is obviously, remember I, I at the beginning I said that money markets, usually the range right now is about 7% to 10%. Yes. Why do we invest in a money but market? I've seen, we want to be... Wait, wait a minute. Okay, I've sure. seen other markets that that are going at 11 13 yes 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 others even 15 uh, in, in the care market yes mm -hmm. like um and i think financial education is very key because yeah. you hit it on the nail you see like mansa x cannot be compared with all the other cic nabo capital zimele mm, mm. uh sandlam because they invest in the global market they are authorized by the capital markets is the only fund that i know right now mm. in my uh, very opinion. big research yes uh they are they invest for example in their in their money market you in their mansa x yeah you'll find that they're giving 15 percent. why because they're able to beat the market they have we say alpha re returns mm -hmm. because they are investing in nasdaq mm -hmm. it's a blue chip you know nasdaq is usually yes, the blue yes. chip they have uh a London Stock Exchange. Oh. Yes, it's a global fund. Yes. It's not just, you remember at the beginning I said that these are the capital markets, sorry, the, the money markets, usually they are authorized to invest in three asset classes. Yes. Money mark, uh, sorry, uh, bank deposits, deposits T-bills, and corporate, the short uh, commercial bonds. papers. Yes. Very short term. Short term right? commercial papers. But now for Mansa X, the reason they are able to give that high return, 15%, is because they have in that basket of theirs, the money market, they are allowed to invest in the global market. Mm -hmm. Of course, global markets is a no-brainer. The returns are very high, you know, um, and also diversification. They use our shorting methodology. It's too much complex that I don't <laughs> want to talk about. They have they use a shorting methodology whereby yeah, yeah. even when NSC, our stock market where they invest some of the funds here, even when it's going down, like during elections time. The market was very down. Mm. Even when the market is going down, you remember stock market goes up. Yes, it's like yes. a you know, uh, curve. Like it, it, it goes up and down, yeah. right? Like flying and gone. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens is that they are able, even when the market is going down. Let me give an example. When Safaricom, the re, the the price of Safaricom is going down, mm. they have a shorting methodology. It's very complex. It's a strategy they use, and it's actually allowed in investment banking that they still make money even when the stock is going down okay wow. yeah so let's go back to the money market as i finish you have also to look at the past experience of this money market and i don't want to give uh, kenya you have very many examples <laughs> of the murife <laughs> that you're talking about uh that if you look at the past experience even if you did your own due diligence like when i'm traveling i look at the travel rates and the ratings of uh hotel that i'm Hotels going to spend going, in, yeah. in dubai or whatever mm. masai mara so why don't we as kenyans also look at that you must also go to their analysis even if you googled uh you know a some certain, of the companies yeah. you'll see all the for example if i googled xyz company right now on google if you just take your phone and google what are the um the top stories what are the top stories I mean, guys, you know, uh, and even the Bible says, my people perish. Because of lack of knowledge. Even myself. I must Google this company as much as I'm in investment banking. So what does that mean? It's does very that important. Mean, if you um, look at the past experiences of that company, yeah. it should be a very big red flag to say, uh, why would I put, why would they ex what, why would I expect them to give me an 8% on yeah. the money market? But what does that mean? That because yeah. new companies come every day. Does that Correct. mean that we all try and shy away from no 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 that's companies? not what i'm saying yeah. good question Kanye, yeah. the very good one because uh -huh. you know you you because tomorrow honestly be a it's a very company. legit question yeah uh, the first question i said is that if you look at the the first advice i gave if you look at how long has this company existed mm -hmm. so if i'm putting if i had a million shillings for example i would not put all my money 
Mm. And this is what banks, commercial banks, mm. do to you. Mm. When you show up and you say, hey, man, I have this idea. I will change the world with my idea. <laughs> so we go in and say, uh, the credit officer will look and say, uh, let's just give you a hundred thousand, dude. Yeah. Until to we see. see. <laughs> exactly. So my investment advice for that would be, and remember, that's what I said. Long, mm. long, how long have longevity, we call it, yeah, mm. of a company? How long have they existed? We've had very recent examples of that company, yeah. of a company here that, you know, went and took a lot of risks. You know, of course, I, I'm, I'm like things, that. I yeah. get very excited about yeah. new ideas. Yeah. And uh, maybe they took a little bit too much. They chewed too much risk. Yeah. You know, they were very aggressive. And maybe the aggressiveness did not match their asset classes. And, yeah. you know, yeah. so it's always good. Well. And that is always my first advice. Look at how long. Because you're putting your money in a pool. And this company is investing for you. There are many dynamics. It could be their corporate governance. It could be succession planning. Maybe this... The CEO, the person who was leading this company, is probably moving, divesting, and going mm. to work. I mean, there are many dynamics. I don't want to preempt. Yeah, uh, yeah. And but just be careful. Be very. Do your due diligence. Be very diligence. careful. Please support startups. I support startups all the time. Yeah. But when new companies are coming in and you're putting your money on an in, on a money market. Yeah. Remember, money market is supposed to be money, cash. It's Something that to you be can very get liquid. very quickly. Okay. And yeah. then, of course, I spoke about uh, the publishing. If this is a company that has not been publishing their results, you should question that. Just like, again, we always ask for financial statements, yeah. right? In commercial banking, mm. they ask you for your financial statements. To because they want to see doing. what have you been doing? Mm. How much man money has Icon, you know, Radio, for example, been, yeah. you know, pro, you know, making? Made. So yeah. anyway, back to that. And then how do you start? I was encouraging to tell people that there are funds here in Kenya. Even Mamamboga, uh, for the ones tuning in from other countries, yeah. the, the, even the lady, uh, um, these small business, small scale, oh, yes. oh, you know, oh. business holders, they are able to do that. We have the border border, the riders. Every day, maybe they make 2,000 shillings. Imagine this fund, uh, and I want to give big, big shout up, Zimele Fund is one of the funds that has been, that's their target market. Their target market is the masses, the chamas, they have a fund that has a, you know, has a low entry point where you can invest a hundred bob. You can actually uh, invest in a money market mm. and you start every day that mamamboga, like the small scale holder, you know, business owners, yeah. they're able to deposit. You can imagine in a month, how much is that? That's a lot. A hundred bob times 30, that's yeah. 3,000 shillings. Yeah. And even, you know, this is the kind of investment we are encouraging because that has made, and the fund has no, you know, fees. They, they, because they are targeting a certain niche market and mm. they want to encourage these people also to invest mm. and earn such high returns. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Let's so get possible. back to the music. Um, yeah. And it's definitely very possible yes, to invest possible. the money market fund. We're getting mm. your last question. So please uh, bring them in. We go back to the music when we come back. More of your questions. It's time for business on Money Mondays with Kanyeda and Joe Roge. Front toe slide backwards, it's backwards. I roll it up. You sit down, we light up, we stay up. You never let me down. You had me, I had you, we stay true. It's You're now here. listening to Icon Radio, your here. number one entertainment play. Cause you just found me. You just, you just, you just found me, yeah, yeah, yeah You just, you just, you just found me, yeah, yeah, yeah You just, you just, you just found me, yeah Yeah, you just found me, yeah Yeah, you just front toes, not backwards, that's backwards I roll it up We sit down, we light up, we stay up You never let me down had me, I had you, we stay true It was me and you Times have been changing and now you Don't wanna choose me I don't know what you're feeling Not sure I wanna know right now Just tell me you won't let me go Yeah, yeah, just tell me you won't let me go Yeah, yeah, yeah You just, you just, you just 
You just, you just, you just found me, yeah, yeah, yeah You just, you just, you just found me, yeah, yeah, yeah You just, you just, you just found me, yeah Yeah, you just found me, yeah Yeah, you just found toes, not backwards, it's backwards I roll it up You sit down, we light up, we stay up It's time for business You never Money let me Mondays. down You had me, I had you, we stay true It's me and you It's me and you You're now listening to Icon Radio Your number one entertainment plug Pengs wa mezidi Pengs kama mimi Yeah Yeah For yeah. real Yeah Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs kama mimi yeah. Pengs wa kopiti yeah. Pengs kwenye mini Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs siyo bibi Peng hana limits Peng pe wa mbini Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs kama mimi Pengs wa kofiti Pengs kwenye mini Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs siyo bibi Peng hana limits Peng pe wa mbini Yo, Peng she has been a fan Peng ana penda peng Peng ana piana piana Peng pedi ana slang Peng says he understand Peng haizi rada shang Peng upiga Kenya ken Peng wa brayo jona ken Peng wa IG apendaki English za Twitter Na peng wa Twitter ni sura ndi ana feature Peng ametulia mwingine ulalamika Peng unifulia mwingine unyanika Peng ako fiti wera yoli za nadai hao Peng na mdishi keja sengine ni guest house Peng awaitishi fea hawa gana ndai zao Peng ni fisi tena yehu janka haibao Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs kama mimi Pengs wa kopiti Pengs kwenye mini Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs siyo bibi Peng hana limits Peng pe wa mbini Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs kama mimi Pengs wa kofiti Pengs kwenye mini Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs siyo bibi Peng hana limits Peng pe wa mbini Mini peng wa mapeng Peng wa maplans Who you peng a kiku penda Who you peng a taku pe Peng da ni a pens Who you peng u wanga babi But down to nana blend Mini peng a na uradi Mi washa na ma fans Who you call me chapa chen Better watch out for your mans But you know I got my pens Mini peng na as a swing Celebi la ma bling Mina represent my queens Wanna run game on my kings Peng wa shash na lip gloss Kwenye hot box ni ma fumes Peng si Oh, hapa ni masuti na perfumes Peng ni kona ganji, cheki pasi, ko full Peng si pendi mchezo, chunga kata tu magoons Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs kama mimi Pengs wa kofiti Pengs kwenye mini Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs si yo bibi Peng hana limits Peng pe wa mbini Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Pengs kama mimi Pengs wa kofiti Pengs kwenye mini Nairobi pengs wa mezidi Peng swa mezidi, peng si o bibi, peng hana limits, peng pe wa mbidi With the song Pangs, Nairobi Pangs, uh, featuring Scam Cardinali. It is right here on Icon Radio, your number one entertainment plug. Hang out with me, Kangalin Jirogi, on Money Mondays. Thank you so much for tuning in. A lot of questions coming in. Definitely discussing what is going on in the money market fund in Kenya. And um, I want to uh, give a shout out to Angelo Kungu. Thank you so much for tuning in. Zishari, thank Asante. 
Asante sana for tuning in. Uh, Masigaki, I can see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Some questions here for you. Sure. One is from Zishari, yeah. who asks, is it possible to have like three uh, accounts with uh, the same money market fund? For example, one for um, savings for children, one for savings for holiday, mm -hmm. and something else. Yes, you can. Yes, you can actually. Uh, but of course, it depends with the fund manager you're dealing with mm -hmm. um, they can give you more specific yeah. once you decide which one you want to yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes it is possible because remember the we invest in can I call it trenches in simple layman terms yes that for example the money the collective fund that was put last week remember the interest rates mm -hmm. there are very many dynamics like the interest rates uh, that is pegged on if it mm -hmm. was a T bill that yeah. trench is invested and uh, obviously, it's possible if you specify to the fund that you want a separate account, uh, it is very possible. Uh, but for me, I would advise, if, depending on how long you want to, to invest the money, like for example, if you're getting married in two years, uh, you could choose a fund that is uh, able to give you higher returns, mm -hmm. um, you know, much higher returns, and then you keep uh, lumping up the money. So you can keep even separate fund managers. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But of course, the the more you pull with one fund manager, the better. So Your you learn higher. Of, yeah. yeah, you'll hire and uh, So and that, those return. are three accounts. So yes, this account, one is for kids. Yeah. The other one, she said, is for wedding. Yeah. And another one. And maybe she could have even put the money at different time. For okay. example, maybe she started with a million in January. Yeah. And now in June, she's like, oh, I got a very big deal to do some conferencing or mm. do some work yeah and she got maybe five million mm -hmm. uh yeah she can do yeah she hey, can have different yeah and maybe there's a monthly one where she's collecting rent say amen, amen. amen. <laughs> so maybe there's one where Zishari, she collects yes. rent yeah. Zishari, big mm. shout out to you thanks for asking a very good question yeah um maybe there's a rental income she's collecting maybe 40k a month where she can say this one, I want this one to go to the, you know, the 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 investment goal where I want to buy a house. Mm. You know, so every month she's topping up. You see, on yeah. top of. Yeah. And remember that top up is compounded. I want to emphasize mm -hmm. compounded. Mm -hmm. So that it's if she had a million, but now every month is a fifty, 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 fifty going That's in. Coming in. Yeah. So it's it's good. It's, it's good. good. She can. She can yeah. have multiple. All right. Um, Angel Okungu says, are, are circles the best for chambers, uh, for the bank money, for investment? And if so, which one do you recommend? <laughs> oh, good. Big shout out to Angeshi. <laughs> Thanks all, for asking. First of all, You know how Chamaz, controversial how that is Chamaz for me. Is just a yeah. situation. Yes. On its own. But, like, but, people who have good chamas, I'm like, I applaud. I applaud. I'm telling you. Eve, first of all, for <laughs> even being in a chama, it's for tears. do you know how many, um, I'm serious, yeah. like the good chamas that are well managed in this, well managed in this country, are holding billions, when you'll be surprised. Oh. Where we fail is the leadership and the management of those chamas. Yeah. And if you even do very, uh, if you basic, go around, no, if you go around, yeah. no, if you go around and see every bank has a chama desk. Have you ever asked yourself yes, why? Yes. Because they have seen, we have done research and, you know, numbers don't lie. Uh, they control a big, even like look at the matatus, the ones that in Kenya we say matatu. Yeah. That industry is mega. It's if huge. you go to the, board, you know, the market where markets like, uh, you know, big markets where we buy veggies, they have their own chamas. I think my last you know, person anyway. to come here told uh -huh. us that um, he knew um, a couple of women in Moranga who started... Oh, I remember him mentioning. Yes. yes. He started yes. selling, uh, was, it, was it onions? Yes. And then now they... They're, they're they own a couple big. buildings. They're, yes. Big time. Yeah. And even when you go to town, our capital center of Nairobi, the capital center of Kenya, Nairobi, if you go, some of the buildings were started by Chamas. I always laugh about uh, a certain organization that was started in a golf course by a few wazes, mm. men, old men, mm. and it was a chama. The guy gave me, anyway, let's go back to the <laughs> chama question. So chamas, um, I would say that this is a very contradictory, can I say controversial question yes. for me to advise? Yes. Because I would still have to look at the investment. You can't say that investing chamas putting their money in a bank 
as long as they are not earning interest, you can't tell me that it's the best solution for them. This uh, one is the circle. Honest, this one is a circle. Even a circle. Yeah. You see, most circles, and that's uh, the reason we are doing this education seg- section mm. sessions, yeah? Mm. Because most people do not know. Also, they fear money markets because they think, uh, if I invest here, I don't know, I might not be well versed. But you get a financial advisor who can advise you. It's very mm. cheap, and mm. a lot of times it's free. Is it? Free advice Is because it? you're investing with them. Okay. okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Even those companies, the money markets, the f- fund market managers would be so happy to sit down. So yeah. that's why I'm doing my role as a Kenyan citizen yes. to educate my fellow people that, mm. you know, because at the end of the day, chamas, when they collect, when they put it in a collection account, mm. that money sits in a bank. And if the most you can get, how much can you get? even in a fixed deposit. Mm, 6%. Let's be honest. Probably. Let's have this discussion now. It yeah. should be a fire <laughs> in the fireplace in the evening. Let's have this discussion. Yeah. And remember, with a lot of respect. Yes. I, I'll give you my beautiful father. Oh my God, you have to meet this man. Yeah. Mwah, he's amazing. <laughs> my father, back yeah. in Gatanga, in the rural village of, you know, Thika, you just a few minutes yes. from Thika. Yeah. There was this there. And every, I'm sure it's the same even in your village. If mm. you go to Kisi, if you go to Kisumu in mm. Mombasa, mm. those people, because it's old money. Can we call it the old money? Yeah. They are in a chama and they do big things, including like Rio Estate. For them, they don't know these other opportunities. So we also need to educate them. Mm. I'm not telling them to go invest in a forex market or high risk because mm. their age does not allow them. They must do conservative investment. Yes. And this is back to investment advice. You must give them the proper advice. You're not going to tell them to start investing in in like very high risk assets where you know that, you know, it's high Anything risk. Anything can happen. Live alone. No, not even that. High risk is always high, you know, high, high risk has uh, repercussions. For example, most people who do not understand Nairobi Securities Exchange, when the market goes, like if a stock goes deep down, mm. they are usually having heart issues. Can we be? Can we Let's start be with honest. that? So an old, p- an older person, mm. age-wise, yeah. you must advise them where to invest. Mm. So that's what I'm saying. Like we are trying to create this awareness so that those wazes also know that there is this liquid place where if you need your money on Monday mm. to buy uh what uh some land in Pwani or in Mombasa, they can have access to their money if they need it. Some of them are in the transport business. Yeah. They do long distance trucking business. If they needed their money next week because they need to repair their vehicle, mm. this is an avenue. I mean, let's let actually when you talk about access, when yes. you look at um, a circle, mm. how long does it take when you decide you don't want to be involved in this circle anymore? How long do you take to get your money back? Furthermore, remember uh-huh. you're in an investment with other people, excellent, and excellent. people want to leave. I mean, can I give this you a is real very example? For you and to, I, yes. I don't know if my colleagues. So when I left Boston, I was in a very beautiful chama. It's yeah. called Very Long Initials, KPIG. Mm. We are very proudly Kenyan, so we call it Kenya Prime Investment Group. And I'm sure my friends are listening in yeah. if they are. Uh, so at some point, because we used to contribute every two weeks. You remember in the U.S. we are yeah, paid every, paid by weekly. Two, two weeks, my yeah. God, yes. guys, we are paid <laughs> every two weeks. How is that for when you're filling ah. your pocket? The question you ask. Those days. Your pocket gets hot. When <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on a lighter note. Now, every two weeks we would get paid. Now, when I moved here, I was working full time for a local bank, and I would get paid at the end of the month. Now I'm running my own consulting firm. But those days, it became a bit difficult because every two weeks. You have we to are pay into that in dollars. That's how change, much yeah. we were giving. Yeah, and uh, we invested very heavily in Kenya. We love it. Uh, but it came a time after I think like three years of being here, we saw that hey, yenye, uh, it's the, so the weekly, the 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 monthly things were not reconciling very mm. well, and I loved it. And so I asked if I could out, um, I could sell Optics. my my investments. So what happened is that we decided instead of them breaking the organization, I would opt my, what do you call it? My, we had some property and that's what, that was my, what do you call, my opt out, my opt out yeah. uh, payoff, but land, if I wanted to sell that land, luckily I was not selling the land. Mm. What would have happened? So you see, you this money, money market, right, that's exactly right what we are talking money market yeah. because in our chama those days, um, we were not looking into the money markets because also I think exposure and mm. I want to challenge all the money 
investment you know m- fund managers i think the more you talk about these things mm. but also our focus because of our age then and our focus wa- was mostly in the stock market and real estate we were i think we were crazy there is that like addiction there is one time there is that let me tell you there is addiction i think coming from where majority of us come from there is always an addiction to the real estate option now if i wanted to sell that land let's face it right now luckily i was you know it's a long term investment so i love it i still hold the asset but if i wanted to opt out and i needed the money like next week because i'm out So also I want to talk to the the chamas I think how you manage your chamas like we are still friends mm. we opted out we did the f- because it's registered here in Kenya we did the official you know the official signing off and you know um you know I gave up my you know shares mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but do you see why managing the chama vizuri when you manage it properly yeah uh if you have the corporate governance and those structures in place nothing should go wrong for chamas yes. but that's where we go wrong in kenya <laughs> yes i can see the shari saying <laughs> chamas is for character development <laughs> <laughs> You're so correct. <laughs> I think I think everybody has had an issue with Jamal. There's something mm-hmm. we should talk about or yeah. find those women in uh, I think we should invite one of them. Yeah. Can we have a Chama Monday one yeah. of the How do you manage Chama? Those women. Yeah, how yeah. do you manage Chama because yeah. it's very important. Yes. All right. So, um in this whole situation, what yes. I've learned so much from today. Yes. It's just all you need to understand what you're investing in yes. and why. Yes. And that of course gives you the opportunities and reasons to what you should put where you should put your money. In. Yes. But and please me, allow me to comment on yeah. that. I think in Kenya, I love my country so much. That's the reason I resigned my big job and came home. Mm. But there's one thing we go wrong. You see Kangede has bought matatus um okay for the ones uh, logging in from other countries matatus yes. is the tra- public <laughs> transport van we it's a business yeah. so anyway Kangede has bought quilts i go into quilts uh, she has started a clothing line uh, i go into it without even researching and i love what you've just said right now mm. the more even i always say if i'm buying this glass of this glass that i'm yeah. holding and i know how it works even how i need to handle it yeah. not just buying because kangeda is buying and i think this crowd can i call it crowd mentality yes Bra- is it brainwashing or crowd i, I like, don't even know oh he you know he has opened uh what a uh, a uh, uh, studio oh Someone even will me open tomorrow, a studio all my savings day. the next the next door the next, next door, door. when uh, is that you start a yoga business uh, i'm like oh kangeda is uh, this day kangeda looks like he's making a lot of money yeah. so i go next door i i don't even research mm. you see this is where we go wrong and again the bible says and i'm sure other religions my very good other people from mm. other religions they have it's something the same. on that yeah i'm telling you even a farmer if your your a beekeeper who is who has you know i'm not saying you go to harvard yeah. or go to uon or the university of nairobi to study beekeeping yeah. but if you go and you've done a bit of research by the way even if you don't make money you're a better uh, investor because you've or had y- even research. if you keep bees and there's a disease that comes and washes them away you'll know that you know i did my part I actually researched I I researched even the area the climate mm, you know now yeah. we have global warming yes. the thing is this cl- crowd mentality of I Kangede has bought a uh, money market understand it mm. understand also my age me and Kangede we are not the same age yeah. we might look age mates but we are not <laughs> even if your twin brother and sister guys mm, mm. your investment goal cannot be your brother and sister and sibling and father yeah. so even when my dad give i know i've benefited a lot from real estate uh, wealth of experience from my father but i'm always saying for me Ta-da-da-da-da. maybe for him he wants to put flats maybe for me i want to put airbnb and whatever mm. there there's someone who buys for example land to just keep it and know that it's under my name with my capital <laughs> name letters in it the people you who know, like that you see yeah. this crowd uh, investing mentality has to go mm. please it's always so beautiful when you invest from a knowledge perspective because even the financial advice are giving you advice you're asking very smart questions like the ones you all asking tonight mm, mm. um so it's very important you know 
investing from a knowledge yes. perspective. Do That's basic research on your end. Yeah. And don't do that as so detailed. Just ask it. But just, just know the little research. basics. Yeah. 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 I think that's a very much. I think for the last one month, every um, guest who's been here has taught us to make sure that we do our research. Yeah. Our research. Yeah. And we are lucky because Google now is free thanks yeah. to globalization. Yes. And YouTube has become my. Let me tell you guys, I know people come. My friends ask me, like, how do you survive in Nairobi traffic before the express YouTube. highway? I'm like, listen, me by the I leave my house. I'm on YouTube. Whether it's my quiet time, uh, if I need to learn something about like icon, you know, like radio, yes. because I'm not in radio. Yeah. Most people assume I'm in the media, but yeah. I'm not. <laughs> if I wanted to do to to know how spinach is grown in my garden, I just Google and someone has that a whole university for me. In five minutes, I can learn even cooking. I you'd be surprised. I can't cook. <laughs> but lately, because my daughter has been nagging me to cook certain things, I go lasagna. I'm like, listen, lasagna man. In case. <laughs> so I Google even pizza. I mean, seriously, like I've had to Google that YouTube ha is the best because for me, yeah. YouTube, because I don't need to sit there. I'm in traffic. I'm driving, but I'm actually listening in. Are you into oh. podcasts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite podcast right now? Uh, you, right now. What are you I, listening to? Other than you guys, I, you know, <laughs> but. Um, did, you, did you catch yeah, that? Yeah. By yes. the way, I've, I've become your very big fan. Yeah. Yes. You're doing a very good job. Thank you. Creating Thank awareness you. because yeah. it was not for meeting you up. I think last year, yes. I would never have known about yes, Icon. Icon. In fact, I would yeah. think Icon where? Hollywood where? <laughs> you know, Icon sounds very... Iconic. Holy, yeah, yeah, iconic, you know? But, you know, but yeah. honestly, mm. and a friend of mine with mine, she has my middle name, Waitera, she mm. does something on a bit of women, and I forget what her name channel is, but mm. usually she'll share with me the yeah. the, 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 the the link, and I just listen in. Yeah. She, initially, she started right there. I think you know Cynthia. She works for Royal Media Services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's head of radio there. But she started her own initiative where she would champion domestic violence was yeah. too much during COVID. Mm -hmm. So those two, uh, but I'm more of YouTube than yeah, anything else. Than I'm anything visual. Else. I, I love, you know. You love visual. I have too much energy. I love visual. All right. I, yeah. Um, what book are you reading right now? Really? Can you hear I read my book all the time. <laughs> but, you know, um, what book I'm reading right now? Mm -hmm. um, Eat the Frog. I've forgotten the... I just bought it last week. Yeah. You know, as an author, self-published author, yes. I have to read. I have a habit of reading. In fact, time is what I miss, but I read at least two books a month. On a bad month, two books. If I'm able to read more, uh, I could. But I recently finished, uh, believe it or not, uh, Akote. She has written a book of quotes. From happiness to business, She, I was very impressed and it's very short um i'm reading quite uh, like three books there's mm. one by amos uh he talks about money money gossip mm. uh yeah i read and of course i read my book because i'm always editing yes when, when and, people and read. probably that's where you were going yeah when people um, read my book they yes. give me a, a lot of feedback and i'm always uh yeah it's my favorite yes. because i'm keen on leadership i think i read your book yeah. and what was very interesting the book is called unleashing the leadership there you go giant in you <laughs> yeah and i always sometimes you never think you're a leader Yes, in some way, because you think leadership is all about people. You always who think are, the producer, man. Like it's, show, it's, my thinking, it's only telling me uh, it's yeah. time to go in, it's time to cut. Yeah. But when I read that, I realized most of the things that I thought were just common, they were just leadership traits. Yes. And just to unleash that and know that everything that I'm doing, I'm a leader. Yeah. And that was very. And you have the potential. For me. Yes. Whether you're born with it or not. Yes. Let's not wait for, and especially, please allow me to say this because I love my country to pieces. Yes. Let's not always wait, be waiting for the president and government and us. what, you know, <laughs> say, dear. If, for example, we are going through a global drought madness, the highest I've ever seen in mm. any country I've yeah. traveled from Malaysia to where. It's like, crazy. seriously, even mm. like, guys, let's not wait for the government to make our place green. Let's like, make it. You know, I'm so angry, mother. I can't even start talking about it. <laughs> but everywhere, if I live in a in an estate mm -hmm. and we've not planted trees, am I waiting for the government? Just unleash. 
you're a leader take it up mm. you know if it's a place where you find litter is being thrown like people are idiotic like that yeah. about throwing litter on the just fix it yeah. you know talk yeah. to them um you know anyway leadership i think is the is a missing link yeah. or anything because as you know i wrote in the book africa is so endowed and when we have gold people are coming There's here so much potential. have you seen how people are moving here yeah. and begging to move here mm. why we have everything it's just leadership that i think messes us up messes us up yeah all right thank you so much for coming in thank you so much for welcome. tuning in uh, yeah. oh my and god time has you. flown so far. it has it unbelievable has. it has I think I want to invite Zeshari here uh, for Yeah, she this, should come. As the studio. She's yeah. one of our biggest fans. So just oh, come. We should give her uh, some t- t- talk, should do a treat t- for her that day. <laughs> <laughs> she's a great artist. Oh, so awesome. we're going to And then close she can the show, she can do a um, show for us. One of her songs. Big um, shout out to you Zeshari. I can't yeah. wait to meet you. Thanks yeah, to Kanye. She's definitely going to do that. Yeah. But thank you so much for coming. Yeah, definitely I'm going to be welcome back here. Awesome. Such an honor having you here thank you and of course to you listening at home uh, mr g and everybody of you tuned in thank you so much it's been the shortest show oh my god i know ever. like is it two hours later <laughs> i can't believe it <laughs> It's the shortest <laughs> show ever, hours. but we had <laughs> such a good time. And of course, we learned a lot. Mm. Um, I learn as well. Yes. So I'm a student for life by choice. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. A big shout out to our, our producer. Thank um, you. Thank you. And a big shout out to Udoni out oh, there. She should come on this side. Our you video guys girl. Come yeah, on this please, side. Please, please, please. Yeah, please. Come on. Please. This beautiful people. Cute. Amazing. Washa big shout out. Man. Come on, guys. Yeah, the team is come big. On. Yeah, come. People need to know. Come, you guys come, look come, amazing. Come, come, come. The, the brains behind this show, and man. And Udoni, thank you amazing. so much. Amazing. <laughs> Um, these are the people awesome. that are uh, behind thank us. Thank you so much. And thank you so yeah. much. Your creativity um, is appreciated. Appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope you know the creative sector, Zashari and the like, is the biggest. Okay. okay. Is is honestly the creative sector is a sleeping giant. It guys. is. Yeah. So I think we're we just should, it's, yeah. it's just resurfacing. We I'm haven't even you. scratched the surface. We, yeah. We haven't. All right. Thank you so much, um, Zashari. This goes to you. Of course, it's your song. So. Aww. Um, enjoy and awesome. thank you so much for tuning in um, from us to you till next week same Cheers. place same time peace Adios. peace <laughs> it's time for business on money mondays with Kanyeth and Joe Roge <laughs> Time for business on Money Mondays with Kanyeth and Joe Roge. Time for business on Money Mondays with Kanyeth and Joe Rogan.
You the only woman that I want to marry You pretty smile on our babies when they call me daddy I got all the needs so baby go ahead and have it the hand show me the way that I can go wavy baby yeah you know I love the flow yeah Coca-Cola bought a shape with your body you know I am the body when you need somebody see ya drive like I stole you off to the world me I really wanna show you blush on your pretty face when you show dimples fashion killer baby even when you dress simple I like that hold her to the key to my heart now only girl that I need and I want now And when they catch feelings, we go catch flies Far away and live good by the sunrise And you know that my love for you is timeless So to tell the dance squad rules Look at you, I thank God, man, I am blessed Say forever I'll be good and never lose me
just on me Couldn't help but jeopardize us All but I stand beside us still It's time for business On Money Mondays You can get the job again Nothing is promised, but never give up. Never give up. Everything takes time. All you gotta do is put in that effort. Nigga, don't stop. Nigga, don't stop. It's too near as I come and draw to, but check if you're the to go where they're trying to make it to the top. To the top. I believed in myself <laughs> and say to myself that nothing impossible. Nothing impossible. It's all of my dreams. Woo. Went through the hustle to get to the pen. I can't even believe that I made it. Man. Hope that you make it through obstacles. Yeah. Now I'm with I'ma choose the rest of you right now. I'm trying to stack it, bro. Woo. Woo. Power, 
everybody I want, want that.